If you're wondering about this background, this is what it looks like when I don't have the green screen up. This is my closet. Um, not doing any editing or special effects today. Nothing that will distort my message. Um, I didn't even really plan what I'm going to say now, but I have some idea of what it will be. Uh, Monica Lewinsky. So, when that scandal first broke out, I was kind of in my mid to late teens. I was a bit of a fundamentalist, Bible-thumping Christian in those days, so you can imagine what my initial reaction to it was. Um, I'm no longer a fundamentalist, Bible-thumping Christian. I'm a more open-minded Christian these days. But as for Monica Lewinsky, for the longest time, like most Americans, I didn't really see her as a human being, to tell you the truth. I mean, I hadn't really thought of it. It's just that, you know, whenever I heard her name, only one thing came to mind that scandal. Now, when we think of Bill Clinton, we probably think of that scandal, but we think of a lot of other things. Um, some of his accomplishments, for better or worse, you know, Bill Clinton has a lot of publicity because he was the President of the United States. But it wasn't until I was a student at LSE that I began, that I, it really sank in that Monica Lewinsky is a human being who made a mistake. Um, she was actually a student at the London School of Economics one year before I was. I was listening to a speech by George Galloway. He's um, a rather left-wing representative there who's left of the Labor Party, a little ticked off at the Labor Party. Anyway, after listening to him bash the Labor Party, I love it when lefties tear each other apart. Uh, that's the main reason I went there. But anyway, after listening to that for a bit, um, he talked a little about American politics, and he made some comment about Lewinsky, something rather derogatory. He, he just wasn't thinking carefully when he spoke. And some of her f colleagues, uh, they stood up for her. You know, they, and he ended up apologizing. I think at that moment, Galloway realized, just like I realized, that, you know, she's a human being and she doesn't deserve to live the rest of her life in shame because of a mistake she made when she was 19 years old. Let's remember that. She was only 19 years old. I'm not saying what she did was right. She, she was an adult. Um, but I think she's paid for it more than long enough. And I just consider it a great injustice that Bill Clinton goes through that and comes up smelling like roses. I mean, it's almost like his popularity went up after that was over. And Monica Lewinsky, her name's been just dragged through the dirt ever since. Um, I won't even get into the kind of stuff you'll find on the internet if you type in her name. But what I would like to say, I guess, in conclusion is let's just try to remember that we've all made mistakes, especially probably when we were in our late teens or early 20s. But most of us didn't make those mistakes with the President of the United States. And for that reason, you know, our skeletons stay in our closet. I didn't even plan that. <laughs> that worked out well. But, you know, most of us, our skeletons, you know, they stay tucked away. But Monica Lewinsky, hers are out for everyone to see. So we really, at the very least, need to stop judging her. And as for uh, Miss Lewinsky herself... I hope she's able to carve herself out, you know, a good future, one that can really separate her from that one scandal. I'm sure there is far more to her than a mistake she made when she was 19 years old. I mean, after all, she earned a degree from LSE. So, I hope you all will give that some thought, and I do think she did the right thing by coming out about it now. She recently did an interview with Vanity Fair. If I can find the link, I'll post it below, but I'm sure it's not too difficult to find. But, you know, some will say that she's doing this to stick it to the Clintons. I mean, number one, it would mainly be Hillary Clinton that she would be sticking it to, but I don't see how this would hurt Hillary Clinton. I mean, it's not Hillary Clinton's fault what happened. And if Hillary Clinton's had some harsh words about Monica Lewinsky, I mean, it's like, you know, what do you expect? I would never expect Hillary Clinton to have anything nice to say about Monica Lewinsky. I guess if I were advising Hillary Clinton, I would just tell her to say little to anything about this. But I don't think Monica Lewinsky's trying to hurt anyone. I think she's really just trying to find a way to move on with her life. And she deserves to be heard. I mean, we've heard Bill Clinton and all his excuses and everything else. Because he's President of the United States, you know, he gets to be heard. But it's been hard for Monica Lewinsky to find a voice. So, you know, just give her a chance. 
I think that's everything I've got to say on this. Uh, thank you all for listening.